This windmill is a little messy, but it seems to work. I do have a question or two about it. Maybe some of you more knowledgeable YouTubers out there can help me out with it. As I've shown in my other video, I install a second stator to the bottom of this single stator dual magnet plate axial flux alternator. So this second stator ha at the bottom has only one metal plate rotating above it with uh, eight magnets and no second magnet plate at the bottom. Someone has suggested before to me that if I don't have enough magnets I can just install another steel or, ma uh, or iron plate at the bottom of my second stator all the way uh, to the bottom. That would increase the magnetism and the uh, voltage or energy output of this unit. So my question is does that second steel plate all the way at the bottom, does it have to rotate with the top uh, magnet plate that is above? So you can see there are two magnet plates uh, with one stator sandwich in between at the top and only one magnet plate with magnets for the bottom stator. Right now I have run out of magnets that's why you see a couple of the magnets uh, have a big gap because I just ran out of magnets and I don't have enough of them. But if I can simply put a metal plate beneath the second stator, if that would help with the energy output or electrical output, I can try that very easily. So this windmill is itching to start. It just needs a good gust of wind. There's not much wind today, maybe one mile, two miles or less than that. I know if I were to add a another steel plate all the way to the bottom, the rotor would probably be magnetized to it and sort of make it more difficult to start. So that's something I have to consider also. The way I have this set up is I have the output from the first stator. I set it up in series with the second stator so the, the voltage would be increased. So it's turning very slowly now, probably about 30 RPM. So maybe some of you out there can answer me that question about the second steel plate at the bottom.